guys, this is Kenya. Welcome back to Kenya's Decor Corner. If this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you so, so much for stopping by. I hope that you will go ahead and click the subscribe button and also be sure to hit that notification bell so that you won't miss any videos that I upload. So guys, today I am so super excited because today is the fall coffee and beverage bar collaboration that I'm co-hosting with my girlfriend, my sister here on YouTube, Kimberly Davis with A Blessed Home with Kimberly Davis. Now guys, I've been co-hosting this collaboration with Kimberly for the last couple of years now. Thank you so much, Kimmy, for having me as your co-host. You know I truly appreciate it and I love you dearly. So guys, in this collaboration, what we do each season is um, invite all of our YouTube friends and other creators to join us as we decorate our kitchen coffee bar area for each season. So if you guys want to see what I've done in my coffee station, then be sure to keep watching. And also let me say that once you're done watching the video here, be sure to go over to Kimberly's channel and watch her video and let her know that I sent you over, say hello. And um, also be sure to check my description box down below for the playlist. So there you can watch all the participants that are joining us in this collaboration. And trust me guys, there's going to be lots of ideas and inspiration. So you will want to watch. Alrighty, so let's jump right into my coffee beverage bar station for fall 2021. So guys, this was my summer coffee bar. And if you all remember, I did move it over here to this corner. And above it, I have all of my uh, items here as opposed to having things out and this has worked really well but I want to be able to add more decor and so I'm going to move it back to the corner where it was before um, you see I already have my little soap container out there for fall right there so I'm going to move my coffee bar back to the other section but let me also show you guys my smoothie bar and here is where I have my smoothie bar set up. So um, before I did have the blender on this side and I had things kind of spread out a little bit more, but I've combined them or condensed them down and moved the blender on this side because I did bring out my two tiered galvanized tray because I'm going to make my cocoa bar over here also. So I have a smoothie and cocoa bar on this side and then my coffee bar on the other side. So this is where I'm going to put my coffee pot to have my coffee bar back in this corner. And so I'm going to show you guys, I pulled out a lot of items here <laughs> um, because I really, like I said, want to have a really nice size um, coffee bar for us to enjoy this fall season. So I'll start here. I, I have some treats or some goodies to add to the coffee bar. So I have these macaroons that I picked up from Aldi. I've never tried them before, but they look really yummy. I like that they're um, chocolate covered. And I picked up some Fair Rocher chocolates. These are my favorite chocolates. Um, now, I did get this little cinnamon from Dollar Tree along with this little bear honey. I took the sticker off the front of the bear because I didn't want that to show. So yeah, that's from the Dollar Tree. These items are all from the Dollar Tree. Um, this Coffee Mate in the French Vanilla and in the Hazelnut. I also from the Dollar Tree got these, which these are some of my favorites. And I was so excited to see them at the Dollar Tree. And I did pick up these little wafer rolls um, from Aldi. They had it in pumpkin spice and salted caramel. These drinks are from Aldi also, the iced latte. And so I haven't tried these, but I'm gonna give it a try. And then I picked up some of the ones that they have at the Dollar Tree also. And again, I thought these were cute because I like that they're a smaller container, um, which is probably about the size that I would drink if I were going to anyway. So um, I did get the French vanilla and one caramel. I'll see how I like this. And if so, then I'll make it more. In the Dollar Tree, I also picked up this really cute little hello sign. I thought that was adorable. Super cute, super fancy. Um, from, I think, Home Goods, I got this coffee cup. It was $3.99. I thought it was so pretty. And you guys know I love having a big coffee mug for any season. 
but I thought this one was really pretty. I love the pumpkins on it. So I got that. Then at Home Goods, I also picked up these Dragonfly coffee cups in this in the stand. Now it doesn't match anything, and I'm probably not going to use it for fall. But I picked it up because I thought they were so cute, and I thought maybe that I could use it, but I probably won't. But I'll keep them because I'll definitely use them like in the summer. Um, then in the background, I have my Rise and Shine. It's coffee time sign that I got from Hobby Lobby. You guys saw me haul that. Um, I also picked up this little leaves are falling autumn is calling sign from TJ Maxx for $5.99 not sure if I'm going to use that or not but I thought it was really pretty and I think it looks really cute with that sign but that's if I'm going to go for a more farmhouse look then of course I have more glam items here which you guys saw me haul all of these items um, from Ross and yeah absolutely gorgeous and very reasonably priced so yeah I have a spoon rest a little um, utensil holder a large bowl um, then I also have these thankful towels that have this gold trim on it that's also very um, fancy looking and I have my marble tray and my uh, cloches here so I'm gonna put treats in there also. Alrighty guys, so those are all the items that I have to work with. I may or may not use all of it, but I pulled everything out, so now I'm gonna go ahead and start putting my look together. So here is the coffee pot put back in this corner here, and you can see how much space I have to decorate with. I think that's awesome, so I'm super excited about that. And here I've added my Rise and Shine is Coffee Time artwork. And on this side, I added some mason jar um, cutting boards to balance out the look. Okay guys, so I had to switch to voiceover because Addison was playing the drums and I'm sure you guys could hear it in the background. <laughs> so anyway, yes, I've added here now those dragonfly mugs and my clothes filled with some pastries. And on the other side, I have my two-tiered tray. Now I've added a few items to the tiered tray. I have some of the drinks from the Dollar Tree and from Aldi on top, along with these uh, fall mugs that I did get from the Dollar Tree a couple of years ago. Not sure if I'm gonna keep those there just yet or not, but I'm just playing around with the items to see what I want to keep and what I might exchange out. Okay guys, so here is my coffee beverage bar station area in the kitchen. So we'll start here on the side. You can see we have some of our favorite snacks. And I have a little pumpkin down here with some ginger green tea and our little honey stir spoons with some napkins and our butcher blocks there just for decor. Of course the Keurig and my favorite new coffee mug. I think this cup is gorgeous. I love that it has pumpkins all around and the little leaf there on the inside is a nice added touch. Then over here we have our teapots. Well there's coffee and teapots in here. Mostly coffee but I think I have just a couple tea ones right on top like some Earl Grey tea or something like that. Oh that's a breakfast one. But um, anyway there's mostly coffee there. If someone wanted tea, I'd just grab them some more. And then we have a little sign there, Rise and Shine, it's coffee time. So the guests can just grab a cup and it already has a little um, honey spoon in there if you want to add honey to their coffee or um, if they're having tea for sure. But if not, then they can, don't have to use that if they don't want. Then over here we have some more tea. This is um, chamomile tea. That's my favorite tea right now. And of course in here we have, you can remove the lid, we have sugar and creamers in there. There's sugar in the background along with some honey there if anyone wanted honey. And we have those 
um, drinks there in the back. So if anyone wanted a drink, they can just grab one. Then down on this shelf, I have some of my favorite chocolates. Absolutely love those. And um, there is cinnamon in this little one. If anyone wanted to um, add whipped cream and cinnamon to their coffee, they can. Um, these little coffee drinks here I got from the Dollar Tree. So um, I'm thinking I might make like a, a coffee drink by blending this with ice. And then you can add whipped cream on top and sprinkle a little um, cinnamon. Then as we pan around here, I have my little Bath & Body Works candle, Campfire Donut, which smells amazing. And the Bath & Body Works plug-in, which is so super cute. And I love how it's sitting just on top of the candle like that. So it looks like it's a part of it. So that's the coffee and tea bar area. And now we'll continue to pan along because you guys know I also have my smoothie bar. So we're just gonna pan around here. And here is the smoothie and snack bar area. So for the smoothie bar, I just moved my blender here to the corner and then we have our basket of fruit which I did have more bananas but in the process of filming this video um, some of my guys <laughs> my two guys here have been eating and enjoying some of the items so um, but yeah I like to keep bananas to go along with the smoothies and then of course you can add the fruit in the apples or oranges if you want but I, we just generally eat those um, I also added this little container here with my whisks. Some of my drinks I do like to use a whisk to make it a little bit frothy, um, but I just thought that was a cute addition, so that's why I added in a whole three whisks. And then here on the snack bar, we have some of our favorite fall snacks and a couple of new ones that we'll be giving a try. But yeah, everyone can just kind of grab a snack, whatever they like, at the top here. These are some of my favorites, the Belvita. Um, they're, I think they're like breakfast biscuits is what they call it, but they taste like um, ginger cinnamon cookies or like ginger snap cookies. That's what they taste like to me. They're delicious. And then those are my favorite, um, the almond and honey bars. Those are my favorite also. And then down here at the bottom, is the um, s'mores bar. So we have, it's s'mores and hot chocolate actually. So we have the uh, marshmallows for the, for the s'mores and the chocolates here, and then some smaller marshmallows for the cocoa back there in the background. And of course you have the graham crackers there. And then there's some creamer here if you wanted to add creamer to your cocoa, which I do like to do that. Um, and that can be used at the coffee bar as well if needed. So that is the snack bar, smoothie bar, and the coffee and tea bar. So I think we are all set for all of our favorite fall beverages. Okay guys, so I hope that you all have enjoyed this video. If so, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. That helps me out tremendously. What it does is it tells YouTube that you like this type of content and they will push it out to more people that may like it as well. Also, leave me a comment down below to let me know what you think about my coffee area or my coffee and tea bar, my cocoa and smoothie bar, and my snack bar. <laughs> Yes, like we are all covered for the fall season, right? So we got lots of goodies over here at our home. So leave me a comment down below to let me know what you guys think about this. And if you like to do something like this for your family as well, or if you've ever even thought about it. If not, then let me know if it's something that you might incorporate in your home. Also, if you are new here, welcome. Thank you so, so much again for stopping by. Please be sure to go ahead and click the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you won't miss any videos. Um, if you are new here from 
Kimberly's channel or maybe from one of the other participants and you wanted to come over and say hello, then thank you for stopping by. And again, I hope that you will join the family as well. For my faithful family members, you all know I love you, love you, love you so, so, so very much. And I want to encourage, again, each of you to go over and check out Kimberly's channel linked in my description box down below, as well as the playlist of all of the participants. And I look forward to seeing all of you on the next video. Much love and many blessings. Bye-bye.